Hello friends, Vinayak here. I'm absolutely delighted to have Vishal with me here. Vishal is ranked two in NEET SS Surgical Group 2024-25. And uh, it's a great honor to have him here. And I'm very proud, uh, not just as a teacher, but for the entire surgical community, because I know how hardworking Vishal is. And it feels really nice to see hardworking people uh, reach the top. So Vishal, how does it feel? It, it feels surreal, sir, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we had put in a lot of hard work, but uh, getting ranked to is it was it's surreal, sir. Yeah, words can't idea. describe actually. Good, good, good. So tell tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, where you did your MBBS, MS, and the entire journey. Yes, I'm Dr. Vishal Lubali. I come from a small town called Terdar of Balko district in Karnataka. I finished my undergraduation from uh, Bangalore Medical College, and then my post graduation. Uh, from uh, Mysore Medical College, uh, Karnataka. And uh, what made you take up uh, surgical gastro or what made you, you know, feel attracted towards the specialty per se? Well, because uh, the major chunk of uh, surgeries that we do during our residency is mainly uh, based on GI procedures. And then I also uh, fell in love with uh, minimal access surgery, to be honest, laparoscopic surgery. So that is how my natural intent, uh, interest towards the surgical gastro started, sir, from my second year of post-graduation. Uh, initially, I didn't have any plans of uh, doing MCH when I joined PG, to be honest. Uh, but then when I saw the reality outside, it was a must to do in the current uh, scenario, sir. So okay. since I was interested in minimal access surgery, I uh, had an inclination towards surgical gastro. Sir. Good, good, good. Um, so... Mm, Vishal, uh, just a few questions. Just lead us through how you went about your preparation. Because one thing I know, you know, over the past five years, which I've learned is that getting a single digit rank is not an easy task. It is yes. tough. It requires a huge amount of dedication. And it also requires a great deal of planning. So just take us through your preparation. Uh, what was your daily routine? And what were the resources that you used? Yes, sir. So after my uh, uh, PG, I actually joined work in a surgical gastro department here in Mysore itself, sir. So okay. my consultant, Dr. Arvind, he was also uh, an alumni of uh, GP Panth Hospital. Fantastic. So uh, a kind of uh, small inspiration that I derived from him. And then I used to go there, work every day from probably 9 to evening 5. If there are emergency OTs, it used to get extended till uh, whatever time, sir, night probably. And in the meantime, every evening I used to uh, set some time aside for around 3 to 4 hours or sometimes 5 hours a day to study the textbooks sir, initially. So initially, I uh, finished reading line to line of uh, Bailey and Savist in both the textbooks. And once I finished reading the textbooks, then I started solving MCQs. Sir. So after initial two to three months, then I started solving MCQs. Uh, and then after a few months, I then started giving grand test series from October months. Sir. Okay. So till then, I had uh, finished majority of the topics from uh, QBank. And from October onwards, then I uh, finished uh, solving the remainder of the QBank. And then I started giving grant test series. Sir. Okay. So, and in the last uh, three months, I quit work and then focused exclusively on studies. So I used to put in around 12 to 14 hours of studies every day in the last two to three months. Fantastic. And, uh, I also did my uh, final revisions from the notes that I made, sir. And you made your own notes, basically. Yes, I made my own notes. Uh, I read the textbooks and jot down the important points. And while solving MCQs, if there are any extra points to be added, I used to note them down in the notes itself. And that uh, became very handy for me in the end, sir, for the revision part. Definitely. So that's how I went about this journey, sir. Fantastic. Um, so what role did the search test QBank play? Uh, was it a useful adjunct or uh, how, how did you find it? Yes, sir. search test, uh, uh, there are around 3,600 plus uh, questions in the QBank. And to be honest, the questions are very, uh, you know, sir, to the point without beating around the bush, covers all the very important topics from the major textbooks that is Bailey and Sabiston. And also advantage is that it also covers a few extra questions from the recent articles or ATLS guidelines and NCCN guidelines. So that was uh, very helpful uh, during the preparation part, sir, because eventually those are things which are uh, followed, sir, in the clinical practice. So, and... A certain set of questions were similar to the questions which were asked in the uh, NEET SS exam, sir. So it was kind of uh, 
ago i mean i went back to how i solved the search test mcq and then that helped me crack a few questions in the final exam as well sir fantastic fantastic so uh, vishal what was the mindset you adopted and what gave you the motivation because honestly uh, people you know uh, tell ki you know you can't study with a full time job so except for the last few months three months you had a full time job in your hand yes sir uh, you were starting working from 9 to 5 and some days till even 8 or 9 in the evening yes. and you still managed to study 3 to 4 hours in the evening and genuinely let me tell you i am doing mch and i come back i have to do some i have to do studying i find it genuinely difficult i have i've done it i'm not saying i, I cannot yes. do it but it's genuinely difficult how did you find the motivation to do it so to be honest in the first attempt i got a rank of 645 uh, but since i was inclined towards gi surgery i was not getting a, a good seat that time so during that time i made my mind that okay if i have to give my next attempt that should be my best attempt and my target from the beginning was to get in the best in street wherever whichever branch you choose sir so for me that naturally was uh, gb pant and since gb pant had only 3 seats so i set a target that i have to be in the top 3 otherwise it may be unlikely that you may not get a seat in gb pant sir so right exactly. from the very beginning i had uh, fixed my mind on being in the top 3 although it le- requires some amount of luck sir but from our side we have to put in all the efforts and the hard work and uh, it was i was also lucky that i found a very good uh, study partner uh, with me sir uh, dr vikas he also secured a rank of 33 so we used to do combined studies every day sir from the last 6 uh, to 8 months every day we used, to, we used to set some time apart we used to discuss all the important points we used to like discuss the q bank discuss the uh, gt answer sir we used to go back to the textbooks and uh, basically that kind of uh, healthy competition between us uh, you know kind of pushed us to a level higher sir so that also helped me and uh, there was also support from all my mentors like uh, for example sir stress sir which uh, gave very uh, crisp concise and to the point explanations of the questions in the q bank sir so all these things put together uh, <laughs> helped me secure this rank sir great man so what advice would you want to give students who are preparing or people who have not been able to get a seat of their choice uh, uh, if there's some advice you would like to give them what would that be yes sir as we have seen the last 2 uh, to 3 neat ss exams sir we have seen a small change in the trend uh, there's more number of uh, clinical based questions and more number of uh, image based questions which are being asked sir rather than some uh, question from some corner of the book they are focusing more on the core concepts what we study during our pg time sir so the uh, chances of cracking the exam is almost equal for both newly passed pgs as well as who have been preparing for the last one to two years sir i don't think there is much of a difference so even the people who are uh, studying for the pg exams now if their core concepts and basic concepts are very uh, clear they have a good enough chance of uh, securing a very good rank sir this time And so second. that is what i feel sir we don't need to quit work entirely and sit and study the entire day for months together probably a month or two before the exams is fine but until then it is better to be in clinical touch better to work in the wards interact with patients and manage complications etc so a majority of the questions are will come directly from those scenarios itself sir exactly exactly and that's something which i concur and i tell all students especially people who are entering into surgery right now don't try to get taken to a mediocre college just to you know so that you have time to read for neat tests no it doesn't work like that because the entrance exam pattern has become very clinical and what you are actually going to see in the wards is what is yes. going to be tested in the exam exam yes, it's same for mrcs it's same for neat tests neat neat pg is also shifting to that sense and yes, it's sir. important especially as surgeons if you acquire a decent set of clinical skills before you enter into super specialty because into super specialty nobody is going to molecular you they are not going yeah. to teach you how to do a basic anastomosis they will expect you to know how to do uh, mm-hmm. a basic bowel anastomosis they will expect you how to do a basic fj you know so these are the clinical skills which really really matter before going into a, into uh, the you know the actual field yes sir not just the operative skills but also um uh, skills such as you know managing a post op patient managing a wound uh, managing a bile leak all these are super important before you enter into a super specialty and it it is same across all specialties yes, having done my mch recently completed my mch recently one thing i can tell you is that the difference between <clears throat> the 
mediocre and the best is reflected very easily in the votes and that yes. directly correlates to the amount of chances you receive in the ot yes sir the better you are in the ward the, the better, more chances you get in the ot so you know yes. definitely do spend some time improving your clinical skills during ms and not yes, working you can work that's for sure yes sir yeah, so vishal i think that was very enlightening uh, uh, yeah. uh, pretty useful um so one last question yes, where do you see yourself 10 years down the line uh i want to be an expert in minimal access surgery be it laparoscopic for now and then move on to robotics i uh want to focus on hpb surgery sir but i'm not very sure on that right now so sure. i just want to have a good hands on of the entire gi surgery and later if i have a chance i would like to uh, focus on hpb surgeries mainly sir good 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 uh may god bless you vishal um may god grant you a lot of happiness prosperity uh, surgical skills for not just you your entire family we at surgeons are very proud of you and i am personally uh, super impressed and proud of you thank you so much vishal thank you sir thank you so much sir